okay so we will do a patch function to patch uh, the sharepoint list this is our uh, site and the student score is the list title and score simple nothing more uh, just two columns so first we'll add the connection to sharepoint so we go here connectors if you don't see SharePoint, you can go and add the connector. Yeah. So I'll put my site name. This is the site. And student score is the list. And we click connect. Then we put a button. So, you know, on the click of the button, we'll save the, we'll do the patch. So here is how the patch function goes the word patch then the database name the data connection name then defaults if there are any default values defaults of student scores same data source then the fields in curly braces remember curly braces remember this so first one is title the value is uh, mark and his score let's give him 97 so everything looks okay we run it we click the button Here you go. Then we will do the patch from the text text boxes. So we will accept the input. This will be the name, and this will be the score. So text input one is the name. Text input two is the score. So on click of the button, instead of these two values, we'll just replace them with the values from the text boxes. So text input one dot text. And the second one is text input two dot text. And then we run it. So we can input um, Diane. Diane gets a score of 99. Diane scores 99. So once again, we'll go over it. It's the patch function. Accepts the, the data source name defaults if there are any default values then the title colon and then the value of the title score colon value of the score curly braces at the end we close the uh, bracket of the patch that's it for patch